you'll also frequently find occasion to move objects around in your sequence. Like, for example, we've got these two shots of the woman making the bread there, the batter there. And let's say we want to take those two shots and move them later in the sequence. Well, I can just pick them up by dragging a box around them and drag them to a new location. And that's now going to move the same little cutaways to this section over here. Right, we can so we move them that way. You can obviously move an individual clip just by selecting one clip and moving it around. You can place it anywhere you want, including overwriting on another clip. So notice what happens. I drag it up there onto V1. My audio three and four stay down there below so that I can replace the video and not override the audio. If I want to override the audio, I have to move those manually too. So again, you drag it to there, it's going to leave the audio where they are, and then I move down there and it's going to place the audio exactly where I put my cursor. So wherever your pointer is, that's going to determine where the clips are going to get laid. And you can even move those audio further down or I can move the video further up. Right, so you can move this to put it on any track you want and place it to a new location. If you want to insert instead of uh, overwrite, drag it, and when you find the new position where you want it to go, you press the command key or the control key on Windows, and that's going to push the clip out of the way. So I'm going to undo. I'm just going to put it right here and on the second track, but still do an insert, and it's going to make room for it on all tracks. So whenever you do an insert, it's going to make room across all tracks. And you see those little forward pointing arrows? Those are telling you what's going to happen across all tracks. So we're going to, you know, as soon as I let go, it's going to make room for that clip and put it right there. So you can move clips around to rearrange them, overlap them, and so forth, however you want to do it. And you'll notice as I'm dragging that there's a very important thing happening, which is snapping. It's automatically lining up with the various other clips and edits, including the playhead. You see there I can snap to the playhead. See those little white arrows are showing you what you're snapping to. This is really, really helpful and uh, when you want it. But there are other times when you want to be really precise and you want to put something right in between there and there, and you can't do it because snapping is on. This is why we'll disable the snapping key. And snapping the shortcut is S, nice and easy to remember, even if though if you're a Final Cut user, you'll be more familiar with N. But when snapping is off, I can precisely put this anywhere I want, even if it's just one frame away from that point that otherwise would be a snap point. One nice thing, though, is that you can press that S key while you're in the middle of a drag. So I'm in the middle of dragging and I want to line it up. I press S and it lines it up or snapping is on and I want to get it right in between those points and it won't let me. I press S and then it lets me be very precise and position things exactly where I want it to go.